Greetings and welcome to Let's Play. Let's finish this and never talk about it again. There was quite a struggle here. Someone or something lost a lot of blood. It soaked deep into these stones. Something. We've seen these blood splatters everywhere. Why is this the first time you remark, you talk about them? They are coming for me now, in full force, and I've done them the service of backing myself into a corner. I could have just closed the door and never opened it again, but oh well. It's of little consolation to me that the intention seems to be capture rather than kill. This puzzled me for a time, but I see now that it has to do with control. Kill me and every one of my minions with words to savagery. It's likely to tear into honors and shadow as they are to each, each other. Keep me alive, however, and my creatures continue to patrol the hallways, walking their assigned routes, and maintaining security as they have always done. Fortunately, this presents me with an opportunity, a way to slow almost advance to the world, and to protect the people of Terraborm, to whom I owe everything. All I need to do to win this fight is to die. Okay. Ellen, how are things there in the city? Is there any news? Dot, dot, dot. Ellen! I, I don't know, it's things psychotic. Only one member of our patrol returned, and he died soon after reaching us. He'd been torn apart. Maybe there's one single vet that came out of the dungeon, and everyone is like, Oh shit! Shit, it's one of those fucking vets! No! <laughs> our best adventurers can barely stand against them. What chance do we have? Ah! Oh. We are now receiving new reports that many people have died in the streets of the lower ward. That there's some kind of attack underway. An attack? Who would be attacking our citizens from within our city walls? Two rats! That's an old wreck. There are other stories, crazed nonsense. Stories of streets themselves disappearing, of buildings disappearing. It's insanity! And yet I'm hearing it from multiple resources. Oh, so now we get into the totally weird lore. Okay. I'm taking a petrol down there myself. I must see what's happening with my... Oh, Alan? Are you there? She's gone. We lost our link to her. What madness is taking place in the streets of our city? Should we head back to the surface? Yeah, yeah, let's head back to the surface. Let's head back those 13 levels, even though we are at at the source of what would be causing all of this. And what what kind of help will you be? You four fucks can barely defeat a fucking wet. Let alone anything that comes out <laughs> of there. The timing of the earthquake, our discovery of this place and now these events in town. This labyrinth is the center of all of it. So I believe you're exactly where we need to be. All right then, a little further. Let's get to the bottom of this, literally. So let's check for secrets. 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 Nothing. Okay. Fine. Have nothing. You know, we, we, we could have just found like this skeletal remains of the guy and like a noose hanging hanging from there so we, we, we know what happened to him <laughs> something like that oh yeah I just have to die so my minions go crazy that's that's a plan oh this, why am I seeing all of these things now and not when I first walked past here <sighs> A door opened. Let's get down to business. Da -da -da, da -da. Thank you. 
floor 13. Oh, hi. Well, I'm glad I managed to get in here before you moved. So I can do my square dance of doom. I'm currently considering if I like it that they added the story parts here or if I don't care for them too much. I think it feels like it doesn't matter. I don't know. Then again, I'm not a story guy. So I'm pretty sure a lot of people like that they're a little bit of tidbit of story, no matter how um, impactful it is or so. I mean, I grew up in Dungeon Master, there's absolutely no story in this game. Oh, Lord, the Grey Lord fucked about and created Lord Chaos and Lord Order. Both are assholes. Go and fix it. But now it's the, oh, there's stuff disappearing and whatnot. Cells, okay. Why would this place have cells? Minions that go out of hand? You wish that you had minions, don't you? What? You're my minion, Melina. Okay. <laughs> good, good that we had this tidbit of information. What? <laughs> you are my minion. I am Baba, you are glue. <laughs> Okay, so that's the map. That's not a big level. Huh. Let's go to the cell part. Apparently it doesn't look too big there. But the pickaxe broke. Yeah. Pickaxe always breaking here. I have the strange feeling I can slowly start using my uh, arrows more <laughs> and maybe my health. Oh no, the person has escaped. Let's fight him face to face. I have the feeling it's just so much faster to do this backstep thing because the, the hit rate 
And this game is atrocious. <laughs> I'm still a firm, firm, firm believer, and maybe I'm alone in this, that there should be no missing. There should be glancing blows, where you do like only 10% damage or something. But at least you slowly, you slowly at least whittle down the enemy. You make progress. After playing Wizardry fucking 7, you really... Why is the last door closed? Fingalas attack Mr. Mole. I, Wizard Re 7, I, just, I, just, I still get angry when I think about the Wizard Re 7 combat. You have missed chances that are actually pretty high. And then you have... Uh, then you need to penetrate the armor before you actually do damage. There are two randomization layers between you and damaging the enemy. Your character needs to be equipped enough to... Uh, skilled enough to hit the enemy and then equipped enough to actually do damage. Jeez. I don't know if it's as equipment wise or if it's just luck. But yeah. Oh god, I hate that game so much. I hate that game so much. You know, I just realized it would have been nice if there were like a, a clock that shows you how long the cooldown is. There is a slight. Slight difference, I think, in shade. Yeah, it goes from deep black to a little lighter, but I, I think. I think uh, going around here would be better. So, what are we fighting in here? Well, it certainly took you long enough. Oh, undercost! Jeez! My god, you are undercost! Don't scream my name. What? How is that possible? It's shocking, yes, I'm alive. Surprise! I will explain, but there is li very little time. You're going to need to just accept a few things. I've waited a very long time for someone to find me here. I've spoken these words so many times in my mind, but now that you are here, it's hard to know where to start. Alright, how I'm alive, and for that matter, how I haven't aged. I'm guessing it's been quite a long time that I've trapped here? It's well over a century, but our reckoning, how is it possible? How much is a century? Cen century. 100 years. Okay. Imagine being stuck in a cell for 100 years. I get bored out of my mind after like five. I mean... Okay, he's immortal, he doesn't need to eat, most likely, he doesn't need to drink, but how is it possible? God, said, has it really been that long? It's those weeds, you see, no doubt you've come across them, they've been force feeding me those things this entire time. Oh, all of the denizens of this place live off them. Not only do they have somewhat miraculous healing properties, but used in abundance, they can very nearly halt the aging process altogether. Don't get any ideas though, there are side effects. Like, my cock is so gigantic now, I can barely hold it in my hand. We can talk about it another time, but I hope you haven't been consuming too many of them. As to why... <laughs> I haven't really been consuming a lot of them. <laughs> As to why I've been kept alive, well, it all comes down to a question of control. Yes, we found a page from your journal explaining the theory as to why you were being hunted. They kept you alive to maintain the magic binding that you'd established over your denizens? That's correct. I kept it out of honor's way. Free of their binding, they would have served no one but themselves. 
I don't think you need to worry about that anymore. We've uh, killed most of your former servants. Sorry about that. I I love that it's Drake who says this. This this smug, this totally smugness in his face. Like oh, sorry. Uh? It couldn't be helped. I'm sure. Besides, I believe that experience is going to be invaluable given what you must now face. The Archdemon Honors. What? No! Honors has already gone to the surface, but surely you knew that. You could only have entered my home after Honors destroyed the seal. We entered when an earthquake destroyed the seal to your labyrinths. We've seen no sign of Honors while we've been here. Labyrinths? Really? That's what they're calling it? At any rate, believe me, there was, that was no earthquake. Honors is long gone. It's likely taking half the city with him by now. If that's the case, I'm sure at this point we must return to the surface. No, not yet. I would head to the city and assess the situation. You must continue and face Shadow. Should Honor's cohort join him on the surface, there will be no hope of ever defeating them. By separating, they've presented us with an opportunity. All right, Andercost, where can we find this demon? He's here on this floor, locked inside his den. Fortunately, I just happened to have stolen the spare key from that nasty ogre that was guarding these cells. It's about here somewhere. Just watch Shadow and then join me on the surface. We'll face all of us together. If it's not already too late. We'll be right behind you. Okay. You know what would have been great if, if there were like some magic seals that we had to break? Or something? But no, this... This mage of immense power couldn't just... Poke a stick. What was that sound? Couldn't just poke a stick or something through here. Summon, summon something and get free. You know, if, if you make your characters really powerful, don't make them dumb. That's, that's, that's quite a rule in my opinion. Don't make them stupid. Oh no. I had the same problem with uh, character motivations or weird character motivations with Shadowlands. I don't know who saw these uh, the, the intro cinematics to the different covenants, but there's this one with Usa, and you see him getting teared in two. It's his soul getting teared in two by Arthas. One part being in the first mall, and the other part going to the afterlife. And then after undocumented, unspecific time, they, they they realize that his soul is hurt because it has a gasping wound across the chest. You know, something you may realize a little bit earlier. <laughs> and then one of the uh, <clears throat> one of the, the the people there touch the wound and then they see oh there is Arthas and she has frostborn or something and then she she goes to the big boss and she's like oh I saw this and there is a an agent of the maw and blah 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 and then they, they are all like yeah that's not true why didn't you just tell them to touch this guy's wound to see it for yourself <laughs> and that why don't you just show them how you figured it out? I don't know, I may be wrong, I may be wrong, but you know, if if, if the plot holes like this just open up in front of you and they're so easily discernible, I don't know. But I, I could rant about the Shadowland story so long, that would be a, a whole playthrough. I would need to play like a 40 hour game in order to 
to to to explain the rage that I have for this storyline. <laughs> but here we have this this ultra strong archmage who can't get out of a simple cell. And he somehow can't tell his, his minions, yo, I'm locked down here, can you... I don't know, necklace of health? Uh, I'm pretty sure we don't, we don't need another life so you get the health. So you don't fall over dead all the fucking time. Okay, let's save. I haven't saved in a bit. Empty flask. I wonder. I wonder if the game is like, yeah, you you only. Uh, if, if if the game is like, yeah, you didn't use so many health potions. Maybe so different endings. I mean, if if they hint at side effects from these flasks, that would have been that would have been such an awesome part. Like you you use these potions to become stronger. But it also mutates you or something, or changes you somehow. I don't know exactly how you could implement this properly, but that, that, that would have been something. You know, some, something to stand out. Something to stand out. You have... Like your mage, they become more powerful, but they lose health. But then again, you would just use the minus int potion on your warriors. But yeah, something like that. I don't know. <sighs> something that makes this combat go faster. <laughs> anything. Anything to make this combat go faster. <laughs> oh God, I hate it. I hate it so much. <laughs> Oh. <coughs> <coughs> hey, Drake got an ability point. Uh, ability point. Most ranks. Yeah, fuck it. I'm not looking for secrets anymore. Unless they're obvious. 300 gold. 300 gold. Uh, let's see. What's behind these doors? wet in the last level okay long sword three how good are you one to eight plus four okay so it's one to twelve Kind of like this, but with more min damage. Plate armor suit. Yeah, that's... Yeah. It doesn't look like there's another way where we send, spend money, so fuck it. You have thousand gold <laughs> about. You should be happy.
They've been force feeding me weeds. But the pickaxe broke. Yay! So I couldn't even use. Remove all the bubble. Why are there so many flasks? The whole Anarchos thing is quite. Keys are at the beginning. Oh. I mean, he did say that, that the key was around there somewhere. He stole it, so. Let's do the walk of shame back. <laughs> because I didn't pay. Or I didn't look for secrets. Okay, so we do have to free him. I was just gonna say, hey, this seems to be optional. I'm pretty sure I checked his cell though. Then again, considering, I, I just realized, considering how weak my mage is, I wonder how strong he is. Maybe he just found a, a squall of create labyrinths. <laughs> Where's the fucking key? Oh really, it's in somewhere in these cells. Did they, did they swap cells so if he shit enough in one they have to clean it out and then they put him in another cell or what oh really yeah i, I want to end this today let me quick look for a guide so i have the guide open there's a torch six push torch to open secret room statue there is no torch Wow, even the the guides for this game are shit. Awesome. Uh, one gold, two arrows, three push button to open door, four key to four door at four. Okay. Five key for door at five. Where is? Oh, that's a five down there okay but there's no key oh there is oh god oh can't you make them sparkle a little bit yes i know i shouldn't complain dungeon master had the same then again dungeon master had this problem only once dungeon master had this problem only once so shut up Hey, 10% party XP, awesome. Let's take these obvious things with me. Because uh, all the other... All the other uh, keys, or most of the other keys were... Uh, gold. Hey, 77 hit points. 104. Even... Even with two bracelets of health, she has about half the uh, the fucking health of uh, everyone else. Wonderful. Okay, let's see what kind of den we have here. Let's save one last time. 49, save. So we missed four statues. Oh, I'm so sad. Okay, let's defeat the shadow. Ooh, traps. Careful. Not closed. Okay. Fuck it, I'm going out. 
for a true dungeon master. Yeah. The button won't budge, only a true dungeon master might enter. Yeah, so somebody who's like, oh yeah, I have so much time on my hands that I can click on every single square. Oh Jesus, that's... That's the final boss. That thing. Shadow. With his glowing... His glowing uh, stuff everywhere. Oh, he can cast spells. Well, that makes him uh, five times as deadly as the other enemies. No target, of course. Oh, Jesus. Can I... Oh, well, we just have to run away from him. Or he just casts uh, blindness and whatever. Maybe. Oh, he's not casting any spells anymore. Can you hit this thing? Jesus Christ Almighty. Try something out. Oh no! Oh Senpai, please don't don't come closer. Oh he's not hurt by the uh, impaler. Wonderful! <laughs> Let me guess, I get hurt, of course I get hurt by the impaler. Oh, that's so bullshit. Oh. Okay, uh... Is there a... there is. Let's, let's lure him there. I just lure him to a 4x4 four four room. At least he... Uh, we can backstep him there. And he can't cast spells at me. What are you doing? Okay. Just by sitting position. Oh. oh no, the shadow broke out of his den. Whatever shall we do? Oh no! Oh no! Oh shit! You know, you know when I usually cheese things, when I don't enjoy stuff. I've played quite a lot, especially the beginning of Dark Souls 2, and I never, ever, ever tried, even tried, to do the uh, the quick kill on the what is it, the Dragon Rider, Dragon Lancer, where you roll and he just charges into the, the abyss. Never, because I enjoy the combat in. Uh, Dark Souls, and I want to have as much combat as possible in Dark Souls, because it's enjoyable. I should really play Elden Ring. 
But this, this is just... Ass. <laughs> Ass. Well, at least we can... At least you can kill him now slowly. No target, of course. Oh, fuck off. Shadow teleported. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me? How to waste the player's time. <sighs> I just kite you to the same spot again. I'm not fighting you one to one. There's no chance in hell I'm surviving that. Unless I'm chain gulping fucking potions. But I don't know how much health you have. I could waste my time by chain gulping potions. Of course I'm going to do the easy road. That, that's what you get when you don't give me any information. I, I hate it when games don't give you a fucking health bar. Or something like that. That's also a problem. You know, that there's so many, so many little, little nitpick problems. I know Dungeon Master doesn't have blah blah blah, it doesn't matter. I know this game in and out by now. But, but, even, even fucking Dark Souls gives you uh, a health spell. One second. Can I step on this? No. <laughs> so you can hit multiple people and you expect me to fight this thing one on one. <laughs> I laugh in your face. Jesus. Holy shit. Oh! 
Like I said, maybe, maybe I missed something from the combat. Maybe there's something that oh. makes the combat easier, or I don't know, but... I, I'm going to watch a Let's Play after this. Maybe I did something wrong. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm stupid. I don't know. It's all is possible. All is fucking possible. I mean, I, I, I'm known for having shit parties. See how oh. I struggled with Icewind Dale? Maybe the trick is not to have a fucking mage that is just a burden on your fucking soul. Oh yeah, I should also equip the uh, the longsword that I got. That's actually better. By two damage, that will make this fight so so much faster by doing two more damage. Hey, 38 backstep damage. That, that looks familiar. Falling on my head. Oh, I'm so glad that we split them up. You know how lame this is that we we are actually fighting the, the henchman of the archdemon and not the archdemon himself? 175 XP. No time to mess as hell we and get to the surface. Under course we need our help if all of this is to be defeated. The deep paths. Labyrinth of Andercost. Several hours later. Look at this place, it's like something out of a nightmare. Everything is falling apart. Are we too late then? I don't know. Let's see how things are looking out in the street. Former marketplace storeroom. Game is loading. Okay, let us save. Why is everything grey? It's gone! All of it just gone! This can't be real! Where are the buildings, the streets? Where are the people? There's something out there. See, there in the distance. Let's take a look. Okay. I can't turn around. This is insanity. We have no choice but see where this leads. Sengala, you made it. Where are you? Ellen, we are standing at a teleport in the middle of nothing. Where are you? There's no time just whatever you do. Don't. She's gone again. Don't. Damn it. Don't. What? What was she trying to say? I don't know. It doesn't matter. We have to go through. Who knows how long this teleport is going to be here. See you all on the other side? Wherever that may be. Let's go. I can't turn around anyways, I can't turn, move backwards, so I have to go there anyways. Thanks for playing! The Deep Pass, Labyrinth of Undercost. 713 players completed the game. 109 players found all 14 statues. 57 players found all 6 swords. Average playtime 9 hours. So I'm faster than the average playtime. 
But I didn't find all the statues and so on. 713 players, that's not too shabby. Then again, who knows how many people actually bought this game. Uh, well... Uh, I wonder how many people who bought this game actually finished it. Because I have this strange feeling a lot of people who buy games don't actually bother finishing them. So, a lot of people seem to have bought this game, to be quite honest. Could be... 10,000? Maybe? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, yeah. Combat is atrocious. Boring. I hated it. The West was okay. I enjoyed traversing the dungeon. I enjoyed the little, yeah, from time to time, the little tidbits. It was okay. They definitely, definitely need more monster variety, but. Oh well. Oh well. Oh well. Yeah. Main menu. That's it. So maybe this was like, oh yeah, we have a sequel or something, but nothing so far. Anyways, I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And we will see each other soon. So take care and goodbye.